about 70 of them, I think. Um, you can find, there's like a big installation kiosk in every store where you can, I just was in one uh, in Dallas last week, um, where you can pick up a huge box and bring it up to the flat screen and it visualizes the entire thing on top of it. That's really cool. It's really cool stuff. Really just get a close up of this guy. Just chill out. You can go ahead and tap him. I have two hands. You can tap him and it uh, starts over again. Yeah, it's super cool stuff. And yeah, it's tied to the surface. Yeah, it's just uh, image, rec image recognition technology plus tracking plus the ability to render this stuff in real time. And that's essentially all the building blocks of augmented reality. So, I mean, that looks like a pretty low polygon count. Yeah, the yeah. Animation. But how still, it looks pretty awesome, right? Yeah, well, it's, with it's, augmented reality. It's really about uh, how you want to optimize, because I mean, you could have incredible, ridiculous 3D models. It's going to take you a long time to download them from the internet. Yeah. Um, but it, like in offline situations where we develop, you know, like a game based. Yeah. Is what I'm thinking. Yeah, you could do a game. I mean, and there's cases in which we uh, we preload uh, models of entire cars uh, or air conditioners or something. And it's yeah. the same. You know, you can make far more robust. But this is clearly this is meant to be a really light, accessible. Yeah, experience. definitely. Yeah. I, I just was wondering. Yeah. And actually, if you check out the if you check out the models that they use uh, in the offline kiosk in the Lego stores, okay. they're really crazy. They have one for like all the new licensing stuff they just got in, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Avengers, all that stuff. It's right on top of the box, and it's crazy. It's so cool. That is awesome. Yeah.